What's going down, y'all? This is Pugilism Company. Reed, Blackbird Sugar. Jumping right into it, Javante Davis says he's down for fighting Vasil Lomachenko next, but he wants that to be on pay-per-view. Tank, as you know, is fresh off beating the absolute breaks off of Jesus Cuellar via third-round stoppage. Says, yeah, I'll uh, I'll fight Lomachenko next, but it needs to be on pay-per-view. From the moment Floyd first mentioned Tank versus Loma, he did this on the, uh, he had an interview with Jim Gray the night of Jared Hurd and Iris Landy Lara, that unification fight. The moment Floyd mentioned Tank versus Loma, I felt it was premature. To me, Tank's at least a full year away, but let's think of it on another level. Tank has yet to headline a Showtime card. Never mind a pay-per-view. Tank's gotten a few Showtime dates now, but it's always the co-main event or the lead-in bout to the actual main event. He has yet to headline a Showtime card. Never mind a pay-per-view. Lomachenko has yet to headline a pay-per-view or prove his drawing power. His fight with Rigando was in the small room at Madison Square Garden. I believe his upcoming bout with Jorge Linares will be in the big room. So at that point, we'll be able we'll be able to better gauge Lomachenko's drawing power. But right now, we can't we can't make a determination right or left, up or down, in regards to whether he's a draw. We'll see after Linares. Even then, it would be way premature to jump from Linares to a pay-per-view with Tank Davis and Lomachenko. So, yeah, I love the idea of it eventually, but it's a, it's a bit early. Let's pump the brakes on that. Now, if Tank remains focused and active, then Lomachenko, that would be a, a real good option in the next year or so. It's a bit early right now. Let's 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 table that one for a later time. Jamal Charlo, fresh off of his KO of Hugo Centeno Jr., he's eyeing a return in August, and he's hoping that fight could take place in Houston. Jamal's a realist, intelligent dude. He's a realist. He recognizes Triple G is tied up, or well, obviously with Von Smart Erosion on May 5th. But Charlo realizes Triple G's focus for the time being is Canelo. So we all know and expect Triple G Canelo 2 to finally take place in September on the weekend of Mexican Independence Day. So that being the case, Charlo's like, hey, Al, I'll fight Houston. Give me an August date in Houston. Let's do it. Charlo hasn't fought at the crib since March of 2012 so it's it's due it's time he's built himself into one of the bigger names on the current landscape he's not Floyd or Pacquiao big or even like a Miguel Cotto level big but at the same time Jamal Charlo and Jamel there are now viable names there are names that people are checking for people are looking out they want to know what they're doing next with that being said Houston would turn up, turn out, show up, and show out for their hometown boy putting it down with the IBF interim title, excuse me, the WBC interim title he just won. I have no doubt Houston would turn up, turn out, show up, show out for him. Same way Dallas is going to turn up, turn out, show up, and show out for our man Earl E.J. Spence when he beats the brakes off of Mr. Ocampos in June. Like an idea of this, hey, when you can't get that big mega, that Vegas, or that MSG, or that Barclays fight, yeah, man, put it down at home. Let your home people touch you again. Spread the love. Got one more little item. I'm getting in and out on this one, just real quick. In and out. Amir Khan, my man is in full Beyonce mode. He is feeling himself, feeling myself, feeling myself. 
Only thing missing is the Derrick Rose Chicago Bulls jersey that she wore in the video, Miss Beyonce. Khan, 39 second KO of Phil Greco in the very first round. He is definitely feeling himself. The two year layoff and the near decapitation KO loss he suffered to Canelo, those are obviously things in the past. That's in his rearview mirror. He says he is chasing Kell Brook. The fight that he's been kind of reluctant to take, that UK moneymaker that's been on the table for years. Khan says now he's chasing Kell Brook. Now, he did also add the caveat. He wants that fight at 147 and not 54, which is where Brook is currently campaigning. Khan holds all the cards in that particular scenario. I've already heard Brooks say he might have to cut something off, but he would do whatever it took to get to 47 to accommodate Amir Khan. Along with that, Khan said he's 100% successful against Southpaws. He said facing Southpaws is nothing to him, and he would welcome welcome a fight with Earl Spence. Like, really, bro? Have you seen Earl Spence fight? But hey, this is what Khan is saying. And with that, he's also saying he wants Adrian Broner next, preferably this summer in the UK. So yeah, Khan, he's uh he's selling wolf tickets. He wants Kell Brook at 47. He says ain't no Southpaws beating him, including Earl Spence. And he wants Adrian Broner next. Me personally, the only uh Broner is a fight he could win. Khan's hand speed and combinations, that's uh that's not such a good matchup for Adrian Broner with his lack of a work rate. The fact that he throws punch every 30 seconds or whatever. Khan could definitely pocket some rounds against Broner. But again, as is always the case with Khan, what happens when he gets hit? What happens when he gets hit? Khan Broner, 50-50 fight. Khan Kell Brook. I'm leaning towards Brook. If it was at 54, Brook would murder him. At 47, Brook could be drained. So I'd give Khan about a, a 40% chance of winning. I would still favor Brook. And the Spence fight, like, come on, bro. You just name dropping. You just name dropping in that case. I don't even know if, if Spence would take that quote unquote challenge seriously I doubt if it would get to contracts but let's just say it did sure early Khan's, Khan's movement his speed it'd take Earl a round or two or three but once he got to cutting off the ring beating up that body it would only be a matter of time anyway please subscribe please hit that bell the bell icon for the notifications and please 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 do your boy a solid and leave some comments. On with the three piece combos, Pugilism Company. This is Reed, Blackbird Sugar. Till next time.